Hi guys and welcome to my channel called Stop Sweeping It Under The Carpet. Um, it's been a while, I haven't done a, a video in ages, so I thought I'd pop on here to um, talk to you guys to see how you are and to reintroduce my book to you. So my book is called Walk Quiet Run Quick. This is it here, Walk Quiet Run Quick. And I'm just going to read you a, a little bit from it. But let me just tell you what it's about first. Now, I first, it's a fictional book, first and foremost, and I first wrote it back in 2018, and it was for women and, and young girls, and um, it was to promote healthy, what a healthy relationship looks like, because I felt at the time, and probably still do, that um, people become complacent in their relationships, and they accept the, the behavior that they begin to think that it's, that it's normal and it's not. So I wrote Walk Quiet, Run Quick, even though it's a fictional book, it's based on real life um, events. So it will help you to um, see the red flags in your relationships and know that, you know what, this is not right, I need to move on. And also the fact that um, people think that domestic abuse in a relationship is all about physical abuse. Um, <clears throat> and of course, that's just not the case, you know, and, and, and I don't think people talk enough about coercive control and, um, you know, terms of like coercive control and terms like gaslighting and so forth. Um, so Walk Quite Run Quick is just to highlight some of those issues so that you can make a judgment in your relationship as to you know, whether you feel um, that the behavior that your partner is demonstrating is is right. Because sometimes you feel it, you feel it in your gut or that woman's intuition and then you just brush it aside. But I should, I, I say to you to take note that your um, intuition is, is telling you something. So, um, yeah, so this is the book here will quite run quick. It is available on Amazon, so I suggest that you get a copy and also Barnes and Nobles. It's available in paperback and um, and ebook as well. So um, there's no reason why you wouldn't be able to get a copy in the format that you prefer. I haven't done the e the um, the audio book as well yet, but I do plan to do so. Um, so I just want to read you um, a little bit from walk quiet, run quick, to give you a bit of an, a feel for um, the book and, and what it entails. Um, so here we go. It was Wednesday. It was a Wednesday morning and for the first few weeks, Val had been working on a major um, campaign for the magazine. She made a special effort with her attire, keen to make up an impression on her influential clientele. Now she's a businesswoman, she, she's an entrepreneur, um, she's successful in the field that she works in. So, you know, to find herself in a situation where, um, you know, she's been abused. First, it was just, you know, it wasn't physical. It was just, you know, the way that her partner was talking to her, Jack. And um, I think their relationship, that I don't think I know that their relationship moved quite quickly. So she's planning um, a meeting that she's been planning for for ages. And so she's in the bathroom getting ready and she, you know, she, and Jack is lying in bed and she's saying, Jack, can you hear me? Val put her head around the door. Is everything all right, Jack? You don't look well. I feel wretched. My stomach's killing me. Was it something you ate last night? Val kneed, but kneed by the side of the bed. You're sweating like a pig, she said, concerned, caved on her face. Or oh, sorry, carved in her face. She placed her hand on his brow, swiping back the damp hair. Val returned to the bathroom for a towel. Do you want me to call you a doctor? No, I don't want a doctor. I'm sure it's nothing serious. Jack tried to sit up but collapsed back into the folds of the pillow. You need a doctor. Look, Val, I've just been working too hard. I've had this problem before. I need to, to rest a little to keep my fluids up. That's all. Um, it, would be, it would help if you stayed with me today, though. Jack, I've got to go to work today. I've got an important meeting and, in, in client, and a client presentation to do. You're one of the CEOs, Val, and you're the one in charge. He started to gasp before, before resuming. 
Call Ashley and let her cover for you. I want you to look after me, Val. Not some jumped up doctor who wants to prescri prescribe pills to push down my throat. <clears throat> he looked at her with pleading eyes. His skin was pale as if the blood had been drained from his body. Don't you love me enough to stay home with me? Of course I love you. Why would you say something like that? Now lay back. I'm going to stop there because, you know, clearly Jack is trying to make her feel guilty about going to work. About going to work. She's planned this presentation. She's been working on it for, week and he, for weeks and he knows this. But yet he's pretending to be ill so that she doesn't go to work and saying, you know, you're the CEO. You can do anything you want to do. And he's basically sending her on a, on a guilt trip, to be perfectly honest. Um, so, yeah, there's there's a couple more um, scenarios where he, um, you know, is, is trying to control her, coerce her, make her feel guilty. You know, and that's what some partners do, you know, if they, you know, if and, and it's a form of abuse. And if you don't recognize it, the book Walk Quite Wrong Quick will highlight that um, for you. So I'm going to end it here. Um, you can get a copy of the book, as I said, on Amazon and Barnes and & Noble and have a read for yourself and um, do let me know what you think. So, um, yeah, so if you can like this video, I'm going to try and share more about the book and also other things as well that people tend to sweep under the carpet because, as, you, as I mentioned before, it's called Stop Sweeping Under the Carpet. So do like the video and share the video and um, also give me a thumbs up. Until next time, I'll see you in the next video. Take care. Bye.